Hey guys, The Right Movies back here again with another Blu-ray update for the month of June. And this is actually a special month that actually uh, I'm celebrating my one year anniversary on YouTube. Um, yeah, it's, it's I can't believe I've been on here for a year. It's gone by so fast. I've met a lot of great people on here. I've made a couple really good friends that I talk to uh, frequently. Um, you know, the movie Blu-ray community really accept, accepted me with open arms, and I couldn't be uh, more thankful for that. I just, uh, you know, I'm so happy I joined um, this and been a part of this, um, you know, movie community. I, it's just amazing. I'm just uh, very excited to see what's in the uh, future. Um, you know, I got other stuff I definitely want to do other than Blu-ray updates. But, uh, you know, for right now, I'm happy with what I've done with my channel. And again, you know, I've met some really good people on here. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Thank you. Um, maybe in like August or something when, um, you know, I move into a new situation, I'll do a complete Blu-ray haul uh, collection kind of thing. Um, so be on the lookout for that. And also, I want to give a little shout out to WrestleMania 1130. Uh, couldn't be, you know, happier and more thankful for you giving me that shout out in your video. You know, it's really cool that a bigger channel like you kind of, you know, gave my smaller channel uh, a shout out. So thanks, man. I uh, really appreciate it. But um, yeah, anyways, uh, let's get into the Blu-ray update. This is why you're here. Um, so yeah. First up here, we have While We're Young. This comes from uh, Noah Bombeck, I think is his name, the director. Yeah, Noah Baumbach is a director uh, starring Ben Stiller, uh, Naomi Watts, um, Adam Driver, and Amanda Seyfried. Seyfried. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Um, a little slow. It had its moments. Um, kind of a blah kind of ending. I wasn't a big fan of the ending, but uh, an enjoyable film. You know, if you a girlfriend or boyfriend, I think it's one you can watch with your significant other and kind of have a good time with. So while we're young. Next up here, we have a Spongebob movie, The Sponge Out of Water. This is the new Spongebob movie that came out this year. It's kind of got some a little bit of uh, live action elements to it. I enjoyed it. You know, again, Spongebob came out when I was like eight years old. And it's one of those things I just grew up with. And, you know, I know some people love it. Some people hate it. I enjoy Spongebob, you know. Um, and it was a pretty good movie. So, uh, Spongebob movie, uh, Sponge Out of Water. Next up here, we got a Studio Ghibli movie that was finally released. A lot of people praise this film, and that is Spirit Away. A lot of people say this is one of the best animated movies of all time. Uh, it's traditional anime. I've actually never seen this, so I can't comment on it, but a lot of people are telling me to pick this up, so I decided to pick it up. It's one of those Studio Ghibli movies, so I'm expecting it to be pretty good. Um, you know, Again, people say one of the best animated movies of all time and it's very highly rated on imbd so um spirit of the way next up here uh i picked up the new leon neeson movie that came out this year and that's run all night um it's it's probably my favorite movie of his besides the gray since taken uh it was enjoyable it was it was a little bit uh more of a dumbed down taken movie you know it wasn't so much over the top um, I thought Liam Neeson actually did a really good acting job. I thought everyone actually did a pretty good job. Um, uh, I enjoyed it. You know, it was a fault. It was, you know, a good drama thriller or whatever. So, um, yeah, run all night. I enjoyed it. Next up here, I picked up Once Upon a Time in the West. I actually picked this up last month, but, uh, it was kind of late getting here in the mail. So I decided to show it in this update. Comes from the director that did the Man With No Name trilogy, uh, with Clint Eastwood, considered one of the best trilogies of all time and best Western movies of all time. He also did one of my favorite movies of all time, uh, top five movie of all time, and that's Once Upon a Time in America. Just absolutely love that film. So I'm expecting this to be really good. I don't know if this came before or after the Man with No Name trilogy, so I'm, I'm expecting it to be really good since it's from Sergio Leone. So Once Upon a Time in the West. Next up here, I picked up mall rats with the best of the decade slipcover um i'm starting to kind of get into kevin smith i used to just not enjoy any of his movies but again at that point i've only seen like two of his two or three of his movies at that point so I decided to pick up mall rats i enjoyed it um a little long um i did watch the extended version which is about half hour longer than the regular version so um you know i enjoyed it there definitely were some very funny moments of this but um yeah, I, again, it was just an enjoyable film. So Mallrats, definitely be a movie I'm going to have to revisit, though, down the line. 
Next up here, I picked up Kingsman, The Secret Service. This came out um, earlier this year. One of my favorite movies this year so far. I enjoyed it. Matthew Vaughn, who directed Kick-Ass, really, really good film. And he also did X-Men First Class, you know, arguably one of the best X-Men movies. And this is, this is kind of like a, you know, spy movie. It's probably, for me, the best spy movie besides a James Bond movie. I just really, really enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun very violent um samuel jackson one of the best villains uh in recent years and taron edgerton uh the main character really you know kind of shows he might be the next big thing so um the kingsman secret service very very enjoyable film one of my favorites this year so far next up here i picked up jupiter ascending this comes from the wachowski brothers who have done uh the matrix trilogy and cloud atlas that came out a few years ago uh, this is like a sci-fi fantasy film. Um, it, it's it's basically a space opera kind of you know just fantasy film. It's it, this movie was really really highly just criticized. People did not like this film. It was kind of panned. But uh, I actually got some out of it. I guess my expectations were so low. I just kind of I enjoyed it. I don't know. But um, yeah, it, you know. It, just don't expect too much from it. It's just a sci-fi fantasy. It's all I mean Don't it's not supposed to be Star Wars or Star Trek. It's just supposed to be a fun fantasy film So yeah, Jupiter Ascending. I enjoyed it uh, Despite um, a lot of critics and fans really disliking this film. Next up. I picked up um, Get Hard. I've actually not seen this but I had some extra money in my best buy card so I just decided to pick this up literally for free so um, you know, I'm a fan of Will Ferrell. I like Kevin Hart, so I'm expecting to at least get some uh, enjoyment out of this film. But again, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I have heard, though, it is really funny, so get hard. Next up here, I picked up Forgetting Sarah Marshall, one of my favorite comedies of all time. I absolutely love this film. Uh, I also really love the slipcover on this. Just, I can watch this movie whenever I've watched it, probably more than any other movie in my collection, to be honest with you. I just, this movie never gets old to me. Whenever it was on TV, HBO, whatever, FX, I'd always watch it. It's just one of those I always got to watch when it's on. So, decided to finally pick it up. I watched it again, and I still really enjoy it. So, uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, one of my favorite comedies of all time. Next up here, I picked up another movie that came out earlier this year, and that is Focus here with Will Smith and Margot Robbie. Basically about Will Smith taking Margot Robbie's character under his wing and trying to train her to be this expert con artist. And uh, it was just a lot of fun. I loved their chemistry, probably the best chemistry out of any couple in a movie this year. I just I just really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Will Smith, you know, one of the most charismatic ac actors out there, like him or not. He's really got the charisma, and it really shows in this movie, so uh, focus. Next up here, I picked up Aaron Brockovich here with the Universal Slipcover for about 5 bucks on eBay. Uh, I haven't seen this yet, but Julia Roberts won an, uh, an Oscar for a performance in this film, so I'm expecting it to be pretty good. I've heard some pretty good things about this film, so I'm definitely excited to watch it, for, but for 5 bucks, I thought that was a pretty good deal to pick this up. Next up here, I picked up a film that I think Me Likes Movies kind of recommended to me a few months ago. And that's Eastern Promises here. You got Viggo Mortensen and Naomi Watts. It's kind of a gangster film, which is my favorite genre of movies. I, I really haven't found too many gangster movies I haven't liked. So Eastern Promises, I heard it's really good. Viggo Mortensen, I'm pretty sure, was nominated for a Best actor for his performance in this so um yeah i'm expecting it to be pretty good so eastern provinces next up here one of my most guilty pleasures of all time i really enjoy this i know people you know pan this film hate it talk a lot of shit about it but that is doom here the comic book steelbook i, I you know i just every, i don't get it I, I don't get why i like this film i don't get why people hate this film i don't know i just really enjoy it every time it's on tv i watch it it's just fun. I don't I don't know what it is about it. I just don't think it's as bad as everyone says it is, but I don't know. Uh, it is a really bad movie, I guess, if you're not, um, you know, a fan of it at all. It's a bad movie. You're not going to like it if you're, you know, if you're going in and expecting this movie to be good as a video game, it's not. So, um, yeah, Doom here. Just a guilty, guilty pleasure I decided to pick up. Next up here, I picked up Desperado here, this pop art steelbook got from Best Buy, uh, comes from Robert Rodriguez. This is the second movie out of his Mexico trilogy. The first one being El Marache, I think 
that's the name of it. I probably said that wrong. And Once Upon a Time in Mexico. So I need to pick those ones up, but I, I enjoyed this. It was a good, like, spaghetti action western film. So, yeah, Desperado. Next up here, I picked up Dead Man, starring Johnny Depp. This came out in, like, 96 or whatever. Um, it's a black and white western film. I haven't seen it. I watched it on Netflix for about five minutes one night and kind of fell asleep. But uh, I really wanted to check this out, and for five bucks, I thought... Why not? I'll just pick it up and watch it from there. So, um, yeah, Dead Man here. Definitely going to be one of these I'm going to be checking out soon. Next up, we have Chappie. This is the Target exclusive Steelbook. Um, I actually really enjoyed this film. This film a lot of people weren't the biggest fan of, but I really enjoyed it. It's probably my most underrated movie this year. I thought it was great. Neil Blomkamp. Probably my second favorite film of his behind District 9. It's really, it's close. Um, but Chappie was definitely a lot better than a lot of people are giving credit for. So um, I enjoy it and a really beautiful looking steelbook. Um, so yeah, Chappie, I, I just really enjoyed it. I don't know. I don't think it was as bad as everyone else said it was. Next up, I picked up Camp X-Ray. This is the um, Guantanamo Bay uh, prison movie that came out last year starring Kristen Stewart and her best performance of her career. I thought she was great in this. Really shows that she might uh, be a lot better than her, you know, uh, a lot of people kind of, when they think of Kristen Stewart, they just kind of think of a Blaine, no emotion actor. And she shows a lot of range in this film, I thought. A lot of, you know, scenes between her and another prisoner where there was just a lot of motion shown. And this movie is just beautifully shot. The acting is great. I really enjoyed it. So um, not a very easy watch, kind of hard to watch at times. But Camp X-Ray, I got to say, I really did enjoy Next up, I picked up AI Artificial Intelligence. This comes from the director Steven Spielberg. One of his most underrated films. I really enjoyed this film. I've always enjoyed this film. Even when I was a kid, when I really didn't even understand what was going on in this film as much as I probably should have uh, watching this. But uh, still, I really enjoyed this. Harry Joel Osment um, being really creepy as he is when he was a kid. But he was really good on this. Jude Law, probably his best performance, I think. Um, just a really enjoyable film and actually a little like um, a fact about this film is this film was actually supposed to be directed by Stanley Kubrick but unfortunately he passed away before he could take on this project so it's one of those things where you kind of I wonder what Stanley Kubrick's vision of this film would have been if it would have been the same or similar and a lot different so it's kind of one of those cool little facts about this film but uh, I actually really enjoyed this film it's one of, you know, Steven Spielberg's most underrated films for me. So AI, artificial intelligence, very happy I could finally pick this up. Next up, I finally got a little milestone uh, accomplished on my Blu-ray collecting. Uh, but I picked up Ratatouille here with the slipcover. Um, the milestone is, is I now have all the Pixar films on Blu-ray with the slipcover. Just kind of one of those milestones that were, took me over a year, about two years to finally accomplish, but I finally did it. And uh, I had never seen Ratatouille before I picked this up, but I got to say it's one of my favorite Pixar films now. It's probably my top eight, top uh, seven. It was just really, really enjoyable. Um, so, yeah, I, I now own all the Pixar films. So kind of a little cool little milestone to finally accomplish. So Ratatouille here, very happy to finally pick this up. Next up here, we got the last few pickups here, and that is Badlands here. This is the Criterion. This is written, directed, and produced by Terrence Malick. Uh, one of his first few films. I absolutely love this film. Um, I couldn't believe how good this was. Uh, starring Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek. Basically about Martin Sheen taking uh, Sissy Spacek's character under his wing. Kind of taking advantage of her. Because she was like this young... She plays this young girl that's kind of innocent. And he kind of takes advantage of her. And they go on this like, uh, you know, rampage of just mischief. You know, breaking into houses. Taking people for hostages. Killing people. Uh, it was just a really, really good film. I really enjoyed this. Um, so if you ever have a chance to watch this, please do. It was really, really good. Uh, I also picked up another Criterion that I really have been trying to pick up for a while now, and that's Rosemary's Baby, considered one of the best horror movies of all time. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this was nominated for Best Picture, which I don't know too many other horror films that were nominated for Best Picture besides maybe Silence of the Lambs. So uh, I've never seen this start to finish. I have no bits and pieces of it. I kind of know the ending. 
uh, and all that. But it's one of those I'm definitely going to be putting on this Halloween and watching. I can't wait to watch this. So Rosemary's Baby, Criterion Edition. Very happy to finally pick this up. Next up, I finally picked up my first thing off the Zavi uh, website, and this is one of my childhood favorite movies. I watched this movie all the time when I was a kid. You know, when I was a kid, it was my favorite movie of all time. The first and the second one was, um, and that is the Spider-Man trilogy here, uh, Steelbook. Love this Steelbook. Um, again, Spider-Man's my favorite superhero uh, and probably su favorite superhero movies to watch, honestly, besides maybe the Dark Knight movies. Uh, I just really love these films besides the third one. The third one really screwed it up for me. Uh, but the first and second one are just, you know, if you're judging them on superhero movies, they're masterpieces. They're great movies. But um, the third one is definitely a downer. But I'm very happy to finally own this trilogy here in this beautiful looking steelbook. So definitely going to have to be picking up some more movies off that savvy uh, website. So Spider-Man trilogy here. Very, very happy to finally own this. And lastly here, I always try to pick up one cool thing uh, a month, and I've wanted this set for a while, but it's always kind of expensive, but I finally kind of got it for a decent deal or one that I was willing to pay for, and that is the James Bond Complete Collection here. I uh, love this set. Um, it's beautiful looking. It's big. It really stands out. Um, you get these two little booklets here. Um, one set comes with all the movies from 1962 to 1981. Another one from 1983 to 2012. So uh, just to kind of show it off a little bit here. Uh, they come in, in, they are put in these individual slots here. And next to them are all the Bond girls from that movie. So you get all the Bond movies ever made um and you even get a slot for skyfall which i already had the movie so i just kind of slid it in there so i have all the james bond films now i was very happy to finally pick up that set and i'm very excited to see spector or spec yeah spector later this year so yeah guys that was my uh collection update for the month of june kind of a smaller update than i've usually done the last couple months but you know not a lot of things came out this month, and I really wasn't in the mood to spend too much money this month. But uh, anyway, guys, let, comment down below. Let me know what you think about my pickups. Also, comment down below and let me know what your favorite Pixar film. Mine um, would be Toy Story, one of my favorite movies of all time, probably top 10. I absolutely love that film. So let me know what is your favorite Pixar film. Um, I'd love to know. So, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. This is The Right Movies, and I do movies the right way.